shared with me this week. I've been praying and fasting with uh, a few of my friends and the Lord has really been speaking to us each and every day. And there is a word we, the Lord shared last night and even throughout this week from the book of Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 21 to 28 that I want us to believe for this month of September. It is a privilege that we are alive in the month of September 2024. Please do not take it for granted, uh, especially when you pass August. August is a month in the spiritual realm. There are a lot of fights, and the enemy really looks to take lives. Uh, and even this morning, I just saw news of, of an accident and lives lost. I think the enemy was like a tuta pita ivyo. But we thank the Lord that we are alive. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21 to 28, I ask that this week you truly think about these words and believe these words. It says, the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, what is this proverb you have in the land of Israel? The days go by and every vision comes to nothing. There are some people who the Lord has given you a prophetic word. And the Lord, hey, hey, okay. <laughs> and, the, and, your, and the Lord is even asking, what is this proverb? That the days go by and the vision has come to nothing. I love the Lord because the Lord speaks prophetically over us and wants that word to come to pass. And he even comes to ask, Mbona hi word haija come to pass? I want to do something and ensure that this word comes to pass. And the, the, the prophecies that we, the Lord is talking about is perhaps a word that has been spoken over your life. But the most powerful prophecies are the scriptures. Everything you read, and I hope you've been doing the 40-day exercise, that word must come to pass. Every scripture, including the one that says, nations shall borrow from you, must come to pass. And so the Lord continues to say, this is what the sovereign Lord says, I am going to put an end to this proverb. This word that you have been waiting on the Lord to just fulfill and has not been happening. He wants to fulfill it and he's saying, I am going to put an end to this proverb. And they will no longer quote it in Israel. Say to them, the days are near that every vision will be fulfilled. The days are near. You can decide the day is today. That the things the Lord has promised me and my family, it is today. Take advantage for today because there is a healing grace in this room. Take advantage. Yesterday someone shared with me a testimony and told me how they got healed. Just in the sermon. And the next day they were going to hospital. And when they went, it was confirmed that... Uh, they were completely healed, just seated here in the sermon. And the person is even seated here. I'll ask them one day, I'm a smile. I'll ask them one day to share that testimony. It's amazing how actually their whole family has been transformed. And so the Lord continues to say, Hajamaliza, Hajamaliza, there's still more. He's saying, for there will be no false visions or flattering divinations among the people of Israel. If there is anybody who has been having dreams and nightmares that really don't make sense and you are being attacked in your dreams, they end today in the name of Jesus. False visions are ending today. But I, the Lord, will speak that I will, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. I think without delay means it shall be fulfilled right now. For in your days, you rebellious people, I will fulfill whatever I say, declares the sovereign Lord. The Lord is not fulfilling his word because you are perfect. 
The Lord is not fulfilling his word because you are the best. He is fulfilling his word because he is God and he is sovereign. And in verse 26 it says, The word of the Lord came to me. And I love verse 27. It says, Son of man, the Israelites are saying the vision he sees is for many years from now and he prophesies about the distant future. Verse 28 is the promise that you should stand on. Therefore say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, none of my words will be what? will be delayed, will be postponed any longer. Whatever I say will be fulfilled, declares the sovereign Lord. Amen. This is the word that I want to share with you in the month of September. Whatever circumstance comes your way, whatever doubt comes your way, Decide, Lord, I believe your word. You're not a man that you should lie. Whatever you have said will be fulfilled and there is no delay. As thoughts come, I want to show you something interesting. That even today as we are talking about pornography, for you to even practice. DB, please, Kuja, can you come? Sit a promise. promise. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Svama afata kwa kamera yako wa kuoni. Come, I want you DB to follow my instructions eh? completely. Just do what I tell you, okay? I want you to begin to count from number one to ten. Eh? Count two in your mind. Just count. What is your what are your full names? Don't be a two Follow my instructions. Eli Kinyanji. Okay. What when I asked you what are your full names, what number had you reached? When did you stop counting? When you asked me. That. Yes. I want to show you the power of speaking. We have thoughts that sometimes come and tell us things are impossible. But when you begin to listen to God and to speak over your life, those thoughts must stop. He stopped counting when I asked him, his name, and he had to respond. And when he was responding, I'm sure he was not counting. Suli Malaysia 7. He was not counting. When we have thoughts and the enemy is telling you it is not possible, take scripture, read scripture, and say, God, according to Ezekiel, this word that you have spoken about my life is coming to pass today, not tomorrow, but today. And so I just want us, DB, you may sit na tunangoja bibi yako, baby. Hii mambo ya kutueka tu hivyo. I need to be a grandma. I'm happy to be a mother I need to be. Hapo kwa nini isi utangaze? And the way your TikTok is growing. Tangaza, tangaza, tangaza. And tell us the specs that you want. And so, I want us to just ask the Lord today for three things that you have been waiting for. And stand with Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21 to 28. And agree with the Lord that thing, those three things are happening today. No matter how impossible they seem like. Agree with the Lord that you are done with this proverb. This word that has not come to pass. Agree with the Lord. I just want us to stand up and get into a time of prayer. September, some things are going to come into an end once and for all. Once and for all, in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak over your life, oh God. Lord, you started with us this journey of salvation. You are the one who has promised us that what you start in us, you are faithful to complete. There is scripture that has been spoken about us. Prophecies promised to us, to our families. And so, Lord, we come standing with Ezekiel 12. And we say that this proverb, shall no longer be in our life. We will no longer have the same prayer over and over and over again every month. Oh, Baba, we stand with you for you are a sovereign
children, God, according to scripture. Lord, that the scripture that has been spoken over our lives, that even align with the Bible, that align with your will must come to pass. Tell the Lord those three things. They must come to pass. They must come to pass today because scripture What is too hard for you, oh God? Into la ba sekanta la da da ba seko rakato ba 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 la to la ba sekata la raba woko ba 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 le to la ba ba de to kata la raba ba eko palara. Jesus came to give me life and life in abundance. Baba, the areas in my life that do not show that that word is true, I place it at your feet right now. We are in the areas of my life I cannot prove that that scripture is true. I say no more. Didn't Jesus Christ die on the cross and he said it is finished it over let it be seen in my life barrenness you have no hold in my life barrenness you have no hold in my life barrenness you have no hold in our life in the name of Jesus for the Lord is fulfilling his word of fruitfulness in my life today in the name of Jesus fruitfulness in our lives today in the name of Jesus no more delay in the name of Jesus I speak healing in this room in the name of Jesus. The grace of healing is in this room in the name of Jesus. Baba, we are entering the month of September knowing that you have done it. You have done it, Baba. We are just going to now give testimonies and we even say thank you for you have done it. This message that we have read in Ezekiel shall come to pass in the month of September has already even come to pass today. No more delay in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. You may have a seat.